Okay, so let's solve this problem. So finding the derivative of trigonometric functions with trigonometric identities. So we have this given. Show that the derivative of y equals sine 5x over cosine 5x is 5 seconds squared 5x. Now, using this figure to find the different fundamental identities, so if we want to find the identities of sine, so sine is equal to cosine over cotangent. Then sine is equal to tangent over second. And also sine is equal to 1 over cosecant. Then the last one, the product of the two functions, cosine times tangent, the answer is the middle function, that's sine, cosine times tangent. So these are the different identities of sine, and this is how to use this figure in finding the different fundamental identities. Now in the given, we need to find the identity of sine 5x over cosine 5x. Now since sine over cosine, so therefore the identity is tangent. So y now is equal to tangent 5x. Then since the derivative of tangent is second squared u times the derivative of u, so y prime is equal to second squared 5x because u is equal to 5x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 5x, that's 5. So y prime is equal to 5 second squared 5x. Then what is given, so show that the derivative of y equals cosecant 4x times cosine 4x is negative 4 cosecant squared 4x. So the same figure, so again, the product of two functions is equal to the middle function. So if we have tangent times cosine, the answer is sine. If tangent times cosecant, the answer is second. So from the given, if we have this cosecant times cosine, so the answer is cotangent. So this function is equal to y, that's cotangent, 4x. Then since the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared u times the derivative of u, so y prime now is equal to negative cosecant squared 4x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 4x, that's 4. So y prime is equal to negative 4 cosecant squared 4x. And then for this given, so show that the derivative of y equals 7 sine 3x cosine 3x is 21 cosine 6x. Now, when multiplying sine and cosine, we're going to use these double angle identities. But first, we need to rewrite this equation on this form. So we need to multiply 2 to sine and cosine. So y now is equal to 2 sine 3x cosine 3x. Now, since we multiply 2 to sine and cosine, therefore, we need to divide this numerical coefficient also by 2. So, that's 7 over 2. Then, using this uh, double angle identity, so y is equal to 7 over 2. Then, we have this sine 2. Since a is equal to 3x, so therefore times 3x. So y now is equal to 7 over 2 times sine 6x because 2 times 3x. Now, since the derivative of sine is cosine u times the derivative of u, 
So y prime now is equal to, so just bring down this uh, numerical coefficient, that's 7 over 2. Then take the derivative of sine, that's cosine u, times the derivative of u, or the derivative of 6x, that's 6. Then simplify, so multiply this 7 over 2 to 6. So we have now y prime, so 6 divided by 2, that's 3. Then 3 times 7, it's 21, cosine 6x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so show that the derivative of y equals cosine squared 2x minus sine squared 2x is negative 4 sine 4x. So using the double angle identities, that cosine squared a minus sine squared a is equal to cosine 2a. And on this given, a is equal to 2x. So y prime now is equal to cosine 2 times a. a is 2x. So simplify. So y prime is equal to 2 times 2. That's cosine 4x. So this is now our new equation. Then since the derivative of cosine is negative sine u times the derivative of u, so y prime is equal to negative sine 4x times the derivative of u or the derivative of 4x, that's 4. So y prime is equal to negative 4 sine 4x.